Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Pikmin. Yesterday, we went to the Forest Naval and cleared it out and we fought the Puff Stool and the Beady Long Legs and we cleared it out and we had a lot of trouble but it's nothing compared to what we're dealing with the Distant Spring today. Why do I seem angry? Because this is my fifth take of this day! <laughs> fifth take! This area is scarier than the Forest Naval! This has caused more trouble than I have ever dealt with in Pikmin! In the entire series! In the past half hour, I've had more Pikmin deaths, I think, than I ever have had in one, in, ha in half an hour ever in Pikmin. In total, I've probably lost 400 Pikmin today through all the different takes. So we're going to be going through this again, and we're going to see if I can clear it out. Why am I crying? Because this is my fifth take. I'm actually laughing while I'm crying. It's, it's very pitiful. Alright, now we can go to the impact site, but I'm not going to go there because there is an enemy that we can face at a certain day and time. And until that day and time comes, I'm not going to go in here because... I want to save that day and time to get the ship part as well, so we're killing two birds with one stone. Hopefully that made sense. Now, the Distant Spring. This area is devastating, evil, and um, slightly demented. In fact, the game designers were probably um, slightly demented? I, I don't want to say that, but seriously, this area is evil. It's so evil. Okay, let me show you what we have in store, and let me let me show you um, a couple of clips of one of some of the deaths I've had. Now, uh, I remember back in the Forest Naval when we first encountered Wallywogs, I had mentioned how Wallywogs can only kill 14 Pikmin in one jump. You know what? I was dead wrong about that. I was thinking of Pikmin 2. Pick in Pikmin 2, they can only kill 14 Pikmin in one jump, so they're actually not quite as tough. Now, 14 Pikmin is still quite a lot, so you're thinking, why aren't they as tough? How many Pik what is the max amount of Pikmin that Wallywogs can kill in this game? You know what? There is no maximum amount of Pikmin that one Wallywog can kill in one jump. In two of my previous takes, those failed because of Wallywogs. In one of them... I lost 80 Pikmin, and in another, I lost 60, and the Wallywog wasn't finished. So, yeah. Let me show you those two takes real quick. It is, it is dead. Now, I'm going to leave it there, because this day, in, um, as far as gathering Pikmin, or growing new Pikmin, uh, I want to focus on yellows today, since... No! Oh, wait, what? What?! What? What? I thought that they had a limit of 14 Pikmin! I lost 70 Pikmin! 70! No, actually, sorry. I lost uh, 72 Pikmin! Oh my word! Oh my word! Sorry, 82. I thought they're... Uh... Uh... Well, this is a failed take. Get over here. Jerk. Jump. There we go, and swarm. No! <sighs> yep. The Wallywogs are much scarier than I thought. And y I remember how I said, if you, if you swarm Wallywogs with 100 Pikmin, they can't jump. Well, as you can see in there, they clearly can. I think it's up to chance. So I'm going to have to revise my strategy for killing Wallywogs. Now... The other reason why I uh, 
I died, so I fell so hard and bit the dust, is this circle, which looks like a lime. It actually does. It looks like a lime, but in the center of that circle is an egg. If you approach that egg, or if you attack the egg, an enemy will break loose that is harder, well, not harder, but he's more devastating than the final boss of this game. Um, he broke loose in one of the takes. That surprisingly, that was the take that I had killed the Wallywogs without losing any without losing any Pikmin. But he broke loose, and you know how many Pikmin I lost to him? I lost two hundred Pikmin. What had happened is I had brought back this ship part at the top of the screen, and I had brought it back. And I was just watching it, I was I was actually escorting it, because I didn't want anything to happen to it. And as soon as I had got it, gotten everything back, this guy comes marching into my base. Yes, he, he does home in on your base. He mar comes marching into my base, and I, um, I got him down to a little bit more than a quarter health. But in doing so, I had lost my entire squad of 100 Pikmin. Yeah. That was really devastating. And what's worse is after I lost that squad of 100 Pikmin, I'm thinking, you know what? I can salvage this. Let's grab 100 reds. In fact, <laughs> I, I to try and encourage the reds, I um, was, well, sort of chanting Steve's name. Sorry, Chugga, but really, Steve is a trooper, and I was hoping that his trooperness would show, and he would take out this enemy, and I lost 100 Pikmin. Again. It was horrible. I defeated him, but I lost 200 Pikmin in doing so. So I'm hoping today doesn't spell such doom. Now, real quick, before that Wallywog jumps, I'm going to talk about our game plan for today, unless this day fails miserably, in which, in which case, all my explanation is for naught. Now, I might actually have to do this post-commentary because of how many takes I'm doing. Um, this, this part is actually fairly easy to get as long as you avoid this central area right there uh it just has some water dumples a new enemy that we haven't faced thus far uh they're basically the dwarf red bull orbs of the water uh they're a little bit harder because they can grab more pikmin in one in one mouthful and they can grab more pikmin at a faster rate um and also they cannot be insta killed by throwing pikmin on top of them so they're actually they're a little bit harder but they're easy if you swarm them. Now, the other enemy is a Puffy Blowhog, which you can kill... Well, he can't kill you, any of your Pikmin. He can just scatter them and cause chaos and also deflower them. So this is fairly easy. As long as you avoid this and avoid all of the Wallywogs, this part's in the bag. Same with this part and this part, although this part is guarded by one of the worst enemies... One of the worst enemies in the game. So let's go ahead and dodge this evil Bulbor... Uh, Wallywog... Come here. Okay. This is my strategy. I'm going to let him hop again. My strategy is to take down over half of his health, and then swarm him again. I think that works better. Okay, you, get over here, please, sir. Please. Okay. Whistle? Whistle? No. Okay, I lost a good many Pikmin there. I lost a good many, but he's dead. Okay. Six, I'm fine with. If I lose six Pikmin, I consider myself extremely lucky. Well, I I'm actually going to say lucky here because of how many takes I'm doing. Okay, I'm hoping that he'll kill him in one go. Whistle, whistle, whistle. No! Yes, perfect. Okay, I'm going to kill him with three Pikmin. Done. Oh, we lost one Pikmin there, but... Uh Okay, another thing that is really jerkish is you don't want to be near those Pikmin, the, the Wallywogs, when they die, because they can actually push your Pikmin underneath the fabric of the world and kill them. Now, there is the egg. I'm not going to get any closer than this. I'm going to be giving it the widest berth I've ever given anything. Okay, don't break loose, please. I'm super scared. I'm really scared. This is more scared than I think I've ever been in Pikmin 1. Okay giving him wide berth. I'm calling it a him. Now, here's the here are the enemies that we have to actually I'm going to lure them away from the egg so I can't accidentally trigger it. Okay. 
swarm them, and we're going to lose some Pikmin, but I don't care. Run. Good. And you probably heard my German Shepherd bark in the background, because I'm I'm in charge of watching him right now. <laughs> he's, he's barking to make himself heard. Okay, now if you speed throw, this guy's fairly easy. Just swarm him right here, and speed throw as he gets up, and he's dead. He's very easy. Now, I can say this because he can't kill Pikmin. Unless, somehow, he glitches and breaks the rules and does. Now, okay, let's... Okay, we found the interstellar radio, the first ship part of the day. Uh, not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that'll brighten up my moments of boredom. The dolphin, while comfortable, becomes quite a lonely place in the depths of the night. Okay. Let's put as many Pikmin as we can to carry this, because I'm scared to death of this area, and scared that somehow that enemy will break loose. Okay, he doesn't seem to have done it so far. I'm actually going to kill these enemies while keeping a very wide berth of that egg, because I want to carry some stuff back to base. Okay, that guy's not hatching. I think I'm good. Okay, let's carry these. Uh, no, 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 don't carry them that way. You don't want to make them carry the, them that way. Okay, let's take these back. Which way are you taking it? Are you going to the left? Good, you are. Okay. The, sp the egg hopefully will not hatch. Because I haven't come close to it. If it hatches, I'm I'm just writing the game off as somehow my Wii's been hacked by the game designers or someone and they're trying to ruin my life. My Pikmin days. Alright. Good, good thing they're carrying this in a wide berth. Okay, leave the egg alone. Don't touch it. Don't even think about it. Okay. I'm really scared. This is... Huh. Okay. I need to get my head... I need to get my head back into this so I can talk clearly and not be whimpering the whole time. Interstellar radio. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. That's nice. I have so little time remaining, though, that I have no option but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression that not all parts are needed to fly the ship. 19 of 30. Alright. Are you going to break loose? I don't think you are. Okay, if you do, I'll probably, uh, cry. More so than I did at the beginning of the episode. Don't carry it that way. Okay, good. Now, after this, you're going to you're going to want some yellow Pikmin. Yes, yellows. And there is a a puffy blowhog over there, but he won't cause any trouble. Now I'm going to let them bring this back, but the rest of these baddies are for the yellow Pikmin. Since we need yellow numbers. Hurry. Okay. Now, what we want for uh, the next ship part, which is that one, we want 20 yellows and 20 blues. And the rest will be set on something else. And night is barking again. So let's go ahead and put 20 yellows away. 20. Uh, 20 yellows. And let's go ahead and pluck the rest of these. There we go. And then we'll re take the remainder out, and those will be yellows. Night. Please be quiet. I don't want to have to do multiple takes because this area is evil. Just a second, guys. I'm going to cut. Alright, sorry. I just had to tell him how bad he was and remove his cookie-eating privileges. Alright. And he's, he's glaring at me right now. I can hear him. How I can hear him glaring? Well, uh, he's panting and crying behind my back. Thinking that... I'm not going to notice that he's still complaining. Alright. Yellow Pikmin. And that is the third time that that text box has appeared in this game. It's just saying that you can't have more than 100 Pikmin in the field. Which I think we know by now. By day 8. Alright. There we go. Now. What we want to do is we want to bring these Yellow Pikmin over here. And dismiss them. And grab all but 20 blues and chuck yes i said chuck twuck ch twuck chuck there we go chuck two over there and grab 50 for this area because we need to take care of a bridge now there are no wally wogs near here good hopefully that egg has not hatched now there are some whatchamacallits here 
some uh, sheer wigs, but we'll just throw them out of the sky, or throw Pikmin, and do some anti-aircraft battery. You don't run off. You stay where I want you. Actually, oh, you, you too. You. Fine, carry it back. Uh, okay, good. These guys are actually, they cause a lot of trouble because they just take so much time to defeat. All right. Let's go up here and take care of this bridge. And while this is happening, let's go ahead and you do want to take care of the bridge. While you can get that ship part, which you saw at the corner of the screen, you can get that with blues, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you do need that bridge in order to uh, grab some bomb rocks that are on the other side. Now, yellows. This is some of integration that I think I mentioned. It's been so many takes, I'm not sure. But this is some of the puzzleness of this area. What you want to do is whistle your yellows, and you want to walk them all the way around here. You can just do it really fast, and you're good. Now, you can walk them really carefully over over that bridge, but it's much easier to do it this way. Okay. Carry this. Dismiss. Okay, you guys come around here. There we go. Come on. Come here. Okay, you come here. Uh, come over here. There you go. Good boy. Okay, now that 20 have... Oh, that was close, buddy. You're a maverick. Okay, now that 20 have come here, you just want to toss the last one here. And as soon as this comes down... As soon as this falls down, you want to whistle the Pikmin. I found the repair type bolt. This robotic marvel can fix just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good, because I got I get terribly bored fixing little glitches. And whistle! Nope! Okay, that guy's gone. I can't rescue him. I'm just gonna try to save the rest. Okay. Sorry, buddy. I would have loved to help you, but it's too late. Okay, now let's go ahead and whistle these guys. And toss them over here. Now, you want to spread them really thin so that they don't push each other out of the way. Good. Now, these guys hopefully can go around here. Let's m move the camera up. Good. Whistle these guys. Whistle these guys. And bring them over here. Good. And bring this last one. Bring them over here. Bring them over here. Bring them over here. Actually, no. Let's do this. Come here. Good. Now they're done with the bridge. You can hear it being completed in the background. Now, these guys, you just whistle them and bring them all the way around here. You can fall in the water if you want. Just bring them all the way around here, and they are good. You're done with the yellows for the day. Thank goodness. Well, almost done. Get over here. Now, you want to dismiss them right here. Grab the, uh, grab the blues and run them over here to grab that ship part. Now, we have enough time, I think, to get everything that we need to. Okay, that's good, and this is on the edge, so hopefully they can grab it. Good, they can. Barely. Good. You guys all got it? Good. Now, the repair, repair type bolt it has been secured, and the egg has not hatched. Thank goodness. Now, let's go ahead and bring our yellows over here. Whistle up our blues. Come on. Come on, yellows. Now, we will see a new enemy that I have ignored thus far, and that is the bull bear. These are pretty hard. Not, they're easy compared to uh, the the Wallywogs, but they're actually fairly hard. And they can—they're just a normal. Um, they are a normal bulbor, but they have more health, and they can eat more Pikmin in one go. Now, typically, you just want to get interrupted by a cutscene. You want to just use a uh, bum rush strategy, just rush their, them from behind, and you can take them out fairly quickly. Now, if they start eating Pikmin, whistle and run away. Because they actually get what is almost essentially armor. Um, and while they're eating Pikmin, their health, um, it deteriorates very slowly. So they can eat maybe 30 Pikmin, even if they have a sliver of health left. So you want to be very careful with that, and you want to run if your first approach doesn't work. So anyway, we got the repair type bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it is actually a repair robot. Interesting. And 20 of 30. Uh, I'm not going to follow my own strategy! Okay, I lost some there. There we go. I, I, I lost some there because of the uh, cutscene, but I'm, I'm good with that. Now, let's go ahead and grab our blues. 43, let's put them all on the massage machine. 
Put this right down in the lower back area and let, just let it go to work. I can't wait to get it installed again, as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. <laughs> Aw, sweet relief. <laughs> okay. Well, I like, I like his humor. I mean, I know he's not trying to be humorous, but I like his humor. Now let's put all the yellows on this, even though we could have them do bomb rocks. Let's have as many as we can carry this. Actually, let us take seven back. There we go, and I can be greedy with one more. Carry it. <sighs> you guys are frustrating. There, ten. Or eleven, whatever. Okay, you guys get to work. Do I have any more Pikmin left? No, I don't. Good. Now, let's go ahead and grab all of these bomb rocks. Ooh, one more. Good. Now, let's go ahead and rush them into these skulls, and inside these skulls are bomb rocks. Neat. Now, let me go into something that I realized that I also had gotten mis I had made a mistake in, in. I realized this in post. Night, be quiet. And that was, um, I mentioned... Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to yell at my dog. <laughs> um... I had mentioned... I'll leave you alone for now. Jerk. Alright, uh, what was I saying? I had mentioned... I had realized that I had a mis... Don't leave me alone. I had made a mistake in post, or... Ah. Uh, I realized I made a mistake when I was editing an episode, and I had mentioned that I... I said in an episode that I had talked about this area being part... Being Earth, but I actually hadn't, and I thought I did. Um... I'll explain while this is paused. I'm sorry for all the talking here, but this is kind of necessary. And that is, this area, because of how many things look like they belong on Earth, um, it is thought that this area is Earth. From the geography of the area when you first see the planet, in all three games as well, um, it looks like Earth. Also, there are, there are relics, or basically what we consider junk, um, human junk all over the area. They are, you know, like the bottles that we saw in the forest navel or other stuff that we have yet to see. So this area is apparently Earth after some sort of apocalypse. It kind of, it kind of leaves a darker feeling on the game and I kind of like it. So yeah, with out of the way, uh, we get the massage machine. I've been walking so much lately. I'm really looking forward to using this. And 21 of 30. Okay. No boy. Good, and let's this guy is really bugging us. This is the swooping snitch bug. And we're going to leave him alone for the time being because I want to take out this gate. I believe eight is enough. Good. One more. Hopefully. Come here. No, it's not, but that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and take out the swooping snitch bug because he is uh annoying. He cannot kill your Pikmin, he just throws them in the ground, and if he, get, if he gets loose in base, it can become quite a pain. And also, since he's near water, you don't want to thro throw your Pikmin in water accidentally. Good. Okay. Got him. Swarm him, and he's done. Just swarm him, and he will continue to fall to the ground, and he is out of the way, and finished. Now, let's go ahead and have our yellows harvest some stuff. Let's har have them harvest that, and also this, and let's make sure we have no stragglers. We've gotten all the ship parts I wanted to get today, so thank goodness this is the final take I needed. Okay, you guys come over here. You grab these Wallywogs. And one more, and there we go. Now, now we can get our yellow numbers up while plucking Pikmin as they come back. There we go. There's a, there's a blue way on the left, but we can deal with him in a second. And Knight is complaining again. Knight is... He's not a bad dog. He doesn't misbehave a lot, but he's very impatient. Oh, no, no, no. Let's whistle all of Pikmin. Okay, any stragglers? Okay, they're all planted. Oh, I see a straggler right there. Don't know how he got all the way over there. Come here. Any more stragglers? No, there aren't. Good. I'm glad this is the final take. This area is brutal. Now, it'd be actually kind of funny. I would laugh if that evil enemy came out right now. Because he couldn't do much damage. I could have just run away. 
Uh, can I plug this? Yeah. Good. And there it is! Oh my word! Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my goodness gracious. Snorktopus. I, I don't know. Uh, this area is scary. And I'm really glad that we had very minimal deaths. We probably lost under 10 Pikmin today. So I'm happy with this. We only got three ship parts today, but tomorrow we should be able to get more, hopefully. We are two-thirds through the game. Over two-thirds, I believe. I think we have 21 ship parts. At day eight, that is very good. It's not speedrunner good, but it is, it is very fast for me. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to, to recover virtually all of my missing, missing ship parts. But not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seem to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. I must find eight more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. Wow. And we now have 78 yellows, and I am very satisfied with these numbers. We lost 19 Pikmin today, but we sprouted 63. The Pikmin numbers are where I want them to be. Uh, tomorrow we will focus on yellows a tiny bit more. I want to get them in, in the three-digit range. But, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with the numbers now. So, thank you so much for watching. I release episodes of Pikmin uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Skyward Sword, if it's still going on, I'm actually going to, so you guys can get some bearing on how my recording schedule works, I want to record the final episode today or tomorrow. So, yeah. Both games are actually drawing too close in if Skyward Sword hasn't ended already. Okay, we have 21 ship parts. We have 9 parts remaining and 22 days remaining to get them in. We have 143 red Pikmin, we have 78 yellows, and we have 118 blues. Tomorrow on Pikmin, we will be going into this area again, the Distant Spring, in order to uh, get some more parts, and I think there are going to be some more bad. There's going to be more battling next episode. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hopefully that they're causing good distraction. Good. Man, he's he's coming really close. He's coming too close for comfort. Don't blow on them. Please. Please. Okay, he's not coming into base. That's good. Whoa! No, my word! No! 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 Ah! Uh, no, okay, I guess I'll go over it now. How did you get loose? How did you get loose? No! Okay. This is the Smoky Prog. He is the most evil enemy in the game. <sighs> He's arguably harder than the final boss. Okay. <sighs> How did he get loose? We didn't even attack it. This part will send out a, a daily SOS signal. I have little, so little mo time remaining, though, that I have no option to, but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I can get to the... I get the impression that not all parts are needed to fly the ship. How did he get loose? No! No, Smoky Fr No, Smoky Prog. No, 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 no. Okay, just no. Okay, uh, remain calm. Remain calm. Just throw Pikmin on him. He has a, a quote-unquote status ailment that cannot be defended against, and that is poison. He will kill any Pikmin that are behind him. He doesn't kill them directly by attacking. He just kills them by them being in his path. Okay. Speed throw Pikmin onto him. Speed throw. Speed throw. Speed throw. Good. He's roaring. Okay. Okay. I'm losing a ton of Pikmin. Please kill him. No. Whistle. 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 Okay. Kill him before he causes any more trouble. I've lost 40 Pikmin so far. Oh, no. Okay. This guy is so evil. I've, I've heard of people doing zero, uh, zero death 
kill, uh, fights of him, but I have no idea how that's possible because I've lost 70 Pikmin so far almost. Please kill him. Oh my word, no. No, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, please, sir. Please, please, I'll give you money. I'll give you anything you want, but just please don't touch me. No. Defeat him. No. Oh my word, no. I lost all my blue Pikmin. I lost all of my blues. Okay, reds. Come on, come on, reds. Come on, reds. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Reds. Reds, come here. Come here. Face him and kill him, please. Kill him. Okay, uh, this is not how I planned for this day to go, but we're going to fight him and kill him. You know what? Through the power of Steve, we unite and conquer. I don't want to take yellows out. Come on. Come on, Steve. I'm about to die. I'm about... To I just lost 80 Pikmin. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Steve, please. Do it. I've lost over... Two, almost 200 Pikmin today. I've lost 200 Pikmin. Okay, well, that's another failed take. Goodness gracious.